Uh, dear friends, in this video we are going to discuss about solar energy which is another important uh, source of uh, renewable energy which is available in plenty across the globe. So we could uh, generate enormous amount of heat energy by utilizing this uh, solar energy and what are the technologies involved in solar energy, trapping of solar energy and utilization of solar energy those things will be discussed in detail before that the users all know that it is used in almost in all areas like uh, water pumps cars lights satellites solar ponds chilling unit dryer unit calculators heaters in office building roof areas can be covered with the solar panels rivers are covered with the solar panels so in many ways and many places we are extracting the solar energy to power our offices, houses and other things. We, how to convert the solar energy into electric energy? That is a very, go, <coughs> very big question. For that, we are going to use the solar panels which will convert the light energy into electrical energy. Solar panel is nothing but a group of solar cells. Whereas the solar cells work on the principle of photo electric effect okay that is solar energy is, has to be converted into electrical energy by using solar cell and solar photoelectric effect see for example when a light of certain frequency falls on the surface of a metal electrons will absorb the energy if incident light energy is greater than the work function minimum energy required to remove the loosely bound valence of electrons then the photo electrons will be emitted and the excess energy is converted into kinetic energy of electron this is a basic principle of a photoelectric effect for example one kilowatt solar system at home will prevent 250 kilogram of coal burning and 450 kilogram of carbon dioxide greenhouse emission and 200 liters of water so we can save the earth as well as the atmosphere so this is a typical uh, schematic of uh, solar energy conversion let's look at that the solar radiation that is the photon light falls on the solar panel the negative electrons positive ele negative electrons is called n type silicon positive is called p type silicon in between we have the depletion layer and we have the metallic conducting plates these are the metallic conducting plates this is the solar panel this one is n type this one is p type here we have depletion layer these metallic conducting strips will be connected to the electric flow that is we have to make the electrons to flow that is the main aim of this work <coughs> so as we have seen in the previous diagram n type semiconductors made of phosphorus which is doped in a <coughs> such a way that the doped material possesses some free electrons hence the term called <coughs> negative type semiconductor <coughs> second one is a p type semiconductors are also made of crystalline silicon but are doped with small amount of impurity atom usually boron whereas for negative phosphorus for positive it is boron which causes the material to have deficit of free electrons whereas in the negative we have excess electrons whereas in the p type we have negative free electrons a deficit of free electrons those missing electrons in the semiconductor lattice are affectionately called the holes since the absence of negatively charged electron can be considered equal to positive charged particle silicon doped in this way is known as the positive type semiconductor when these dissimilar semiconductor materials one is phosphorus another one is boron that is a dissimilar semiconductor materials are assembled together with the conductors the arrangement becomes a light sensitive pn junction semiconductor that sets up an electric field thus we are getting power or electricity from this system this is a more uh, photographical explanation n layer p layer how the holes are there and how the electricity is converted 
this is the different types of collectors to collect the solar energy this is called a flat plate this is a parabolic structure this is a tower concept of power solar power plant so these are the ways and methods on which we are going to generate the abundantly available solar into electrical energy thank you for watching this video thank you